Hello guys, welcome to our next programming session which is microbit. Okay, let's get started. So today we're going to solve a problem. The problem that we're going to solve today is about the night. So at night, walking at night is dangerous. You know why? Because when you're walking at night, you can't see properly and there are vehicles in the road, right? There are vehicles in the road that doesn't see you sometimes. So that is a big problem. People get to dangerous accidents because of that. Now, bicycle, now this, uh, all these vehicles like bicycles, cars, they have lights to indicate that the vehicle is there, right? Uh, as an example, the front light of the car and the back light of the car and in the bicycles we have tail lights, right? Or any reflective material. Now, the problem is about the pedestrians doesn't have this warning lights, right? So, other vehicles can't see them properly. Now, in here, uh, so that is a problem that we're going to solve today. So, let's see what you can do to solve this problem. Okay, so today, we uh, using the knowledge that we learn from this, uh, knowledge that we gain from this lesson, uh, using that less, uh, knowledge, we're going to solve a problem. So today, I'm going to tell you guys about the microbit. So using microbit, we're going to make a warning light. Okay. You see these warning lights in vehicles as I explained before. So now, we're going to make one warning light for pedestrians. Okay. Let's get started. First of all, we should know what this microbit is. A microbit is a pocket sized portable computer. So it's like a small brain, but we have to give the instructions. Okay. Now, uh, if you look at the microbit board, uh, there are two buttons. That means two uh, input buttons. That means uh, like when you press that button, something will happen. Like the control buttons in your remote car. Uh, one goes to the front and one goes to the back. Right. Just like that. And then we have 25 LEDs. LEDs are not just random LEDs or not is, is just not is not just a light it's also a light sensor okay and I will explain that while the lesson is going and then we have the USB connector which uh, we are using to connect the micro bit to the computer and then also we can use it to uh, use it to uh, power the micro bit with a let's say a power bank or something like that and then in the front on the edge we have edge connector that is for the extensions that we are adding for the micro bit as an example let's say a battery or led or a bus something like that <coughs> okay now uh, if you look at the back side of this uh, micro bit board we have accelerometer accelerometer is something that can detect the change changes that we do as an example, uh, when you tilt your phone, your screen uh, rotates with it, right? According to the way you tilt your phone, your screen rotates with it. Now, the accelerometer is the responsible person for that. Now, then we have a compass. You guys all know about the compass. And then we have a processor. Processor, uh, that means the brain of the micro bit. And then we have radio and Bluetooth antennas. Yes, this small thing here uh, is a antenna so that can receive and send out bluetooth and radio signals and then we have the reset button so when we need to reset our program which is running in the micro bit we can use that button and then we have the battery socket so the battery socket is there for a reason so if we are not connected uh, to the computer the micro bit doesn't have any power so the battery socket can provide power to the micro bit and make it portable so it's like uh, simply connecting it to a battery pack okay so the battery socket is the one we are using for that now as you can see here we have many circuits uh, which we have we can do with the micro bit we can attach uh, many things as you, i told you before we are using the edge connectors for that okay we can uh, add sensors and then we can add uh, motors and many circuit materials we can add to the micro bit now, coding with microbit. 
so this is something uh, that i'll explain while the lesson is also going and um, if, if you look at the interface or how it looks like how the microbit editor looks like uh, as you can see here in the left side you have a simulator a simulator is something that you can see what happens without doing it actually right uh, have you seen these driving simulators when you uh, do driving simulators uh, you don't get into a vehicle and drive it in the road right you just get into a simulator which gives you the experience of a actual vehicle so the simulator is that okay now uh, then we are using not text based programming here we don't use text based programming we are using a block programming here so all the code blocks uh, you don't have to type the code blocks all the code blocks are pre made but you just have to build them like building blocks and then get the uh, program working okay now so uh, today we are going to learn about the light sensor in the micro bit so the light sensor in the micro bit is special because it's embedded in the leds in it so i told you about 25 leds on the micro bit so all those led uh, lights have sensors in it light sensors so it can detect light or dark right so we'll be using micro bit simulator to do this activity uh, as i told you a simulator is something that can uh, simulate the real experience okay so you don't need actual board you don't need actual micro bit board to do this activity but you can simulate it okay now if you can uh, i will post the uh, if you can post the video and uh, copy this uh, link to your web browser and if you go to that uh, website you will be redirected to this editor okay so you will be redirected to this editor please go to uh, copy the link and uh, put it in the web browser or type it in your web browser so you can go to this microbit editor page okay i think you guys are already there <coughs> so i'll start explaining about the code that we are doing today so in micro bit we have as i explained we are using block programming right block programming are pre made codes but here we don't know what the text code of this uh, block program is right but if you want to know you can simply switch from blocks to javascript so if you sw switch to javascript you can see these letters right that is the code in javascript that is the same thing which we are doing in blocks okay now in this blocks uh, i will explain this code before we do it okay as you can see there's a loop what is a loop a loop is uh, as example let's say if you put something inside a loop it will get executed or it will happen again and again got it now after that there are, then we have a green block which is a condition a condition has two sides now here in this one we have two conditions if the light level is in simple english right you can read if the light level is less than this mark is called less than mark if the light level is less than 100 then show leds okay so the blue block says show led so you can draw a pattern here I think it's better if you keep all the LEDs uh, lighted up, which is white. If you click on the LED one time, it will light up. And if you click on the LED again, so it will not light. Okay. Now, I will explain step by step how to do this session. Okay. Now, we will delete this one. In your screen, there will be two blocks. One is forever and one is on start. Both the blocks drag it and drop it in the middle so when you drag it and go to the middle you can see there's a uh, dustbin drop it on that so you can completely delete okay now first of all go to basics in basics we have uh, the show leds block uh, show icon block block show numbers show strings oh i will explain the one by one so numbers is you can write numbers there okay and then we have show leds we can draw a pattern there as example i'll show you here 
so you have to put it in a low if you draw a pattern in the simulator you can see it is show right so forever it will show this pattern and then there's the show icon block so as I told you you can either draw an icon or use a pre-made icon see many icons are there uh, there are people there are there's a duck right there's an arrow and many patterns are there so that is what the show icon does and then there are show string which we can show a string of letters okay uh, for you to easily understand I just put two letters saying hi right and then I'm using uh, this is what I'm what I'm going to use the forever loop in basics go to basics and get forever loop okay so as you can see this is the interface that we are using first thing that you have to know is in the left side there's a simulator so whatever uh, the programming that you do in the right side will be uh, shown in the simulator of the left side here and this is the place where you do the coding right this is where you build your code and then in the left side the simulator will show you that now we'll start so the first thing that we have to do is put everything in a loop in here in the middle you can see there are categories right basics if you go to basics which I explain those code blocks are there and then inputs these are the inputs that we can give to the micro bit like a press of a button or shake as you can see here or a, a output a device which uh, uh, something external which can give you output and then there are many things like light level compass setting temperature in the coming lessons we will be talking about those as well now for now we will be using light level and then there is music ok so on the, we can say forever play middle C ok so it keeps happening because it is in a loop right and then there are LEDs you can uh, program the LEDs from here radio the radio signals we can use and loops we can use either numbered loops here you can decide how many times it should uh, repeat and then there are logics so logics are like conditions which I explained before and then there are variables variables are we will be talking about those in the coming lessons also now we will get started so you put the forever loop here and then the condition so the first thing that you have to do is you have to tell the micro bit board to show this pattern if the light level is going less than 100 got it if the light level is going less than 100 that means the light that the sensors are getting if they are reducing to more than 100 less than 100 you should show the pattern okay that means when it's dark you should show the pattern now so you go to logic and then get this block called if true then can you see if true then okay so one thing that you have to know is if it is not connected to the main code it will not work so if I remove it from that one and keep it near it see it's like blurred so it, that means it doesn't work so you connect it to the main code okay now then uh, first thing that you have to do is add a condition so we are creating a condition for the micro bit we are going to say if the light level is less than 100 show this pattern right so we are going here we are going to the logic block okay the logic block has comparisons can you see here comparisons if you scroll down we have comparisons so in the comparison we are going to get one of these as you can see the this icon is called less than right this icon is called less than now we are going to create the condition from here from inputs we are going to select light level 
you can easily identify this code and memorize it because there is a color code to it right the color code indicates which of these blocks are categorized into that means as example the blue block is categorized to basics and the purple one is categorized for input and then so on okay so this is our first condition if the light level is less than 100 then what we are going to show we are going to show that big, big block of LEDs now currently it's showing nothing okay so I'll just make a pattern like this okay so it's a big smiley face then we can test it out okay as you can see here in the simulator because the simulator can't get any light so here there's a controller to show the light level okay so now it's getting 200 light 200 light but it's getting less than uh, 100 even but still it's showing the pattern so what is the problem in the condition we didn't say anything else right if the light level is 100 or more than 100 we didn't say no right if it is more than 100 even it still is showing the pattern so now we're gonna say if not what go what is gonna happen if the light level is less than 100 you show this pattern if not what should happen okay that's our next step so here you can see a plus mark in the if condition right here now you press on that and then another compart will uh, another place uh, another block of code will appear okay in here we're gonna say what should happen if the light level is more than 100 right so it's a simple condition if the light level is less than 100 show this pattern if not what should happen okay so you can go to basics we can say show nothing right we can say uh, show nothing okay now here if you go to basics and if you go to more you can see a code block called clear screen turn off all the LEDs okay so that was simple right we'll test it out so whenever you make an innovation you have to test it out and see how it works before you share it with the others now here I'm gonna reduce the light level to 87 77 can you see so I will slowly increase it up to 100 and above and then it will show a empty screen now you guys see uh, now we programmed the light level uh, light sensor in the microwave to do that now it was fun right but this is not the the only thing that you can do with the microbit the microbit it's a, a programmable board with many possibilities you can do control uh, a vehicle a remote vehicle with it you can communicate between two microbits and uh, you can make name tags with the microbit right so LEDs the string which I told you about right so many possibilities are there so before I leave and before I end the session I'm gonna tell one thing I will give you a challenge the challenge is to uh, show another pattern when the light level is more than 100 that means less than 100 it will show this I will increase the LEDs which is lighted up so you can see the pedestrian better right so if he's wearing this on the on his back you can see him better now when there's more LEDs so I increase the number of LEDs which is lighted up now I want you to do one thing else if it is less than 100 it will show this right if it is more than 100 I want you to program this uh, microbit program to another thing if it is more than 100 show another pattern as an example I will give you a pattern okay so let's say um, a duck okay show a duck now that is your challenge for today thank you uh, thank you for joining our session and hope to see you guys in the future thank you